Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Umar Johnson, and I am a school psychologist and doctor of clinical psychology. In addition to that, I hold degrees in political science and education. I am here at the historic St. Paul's College. This beautiful campus, 135 acres of which I hope to make the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for African Children. This college, St. Paul's, was opened on September the 24th, 1888 by a contemporary of the great Booker T. Washington. That great ancestor's name was James Solomon Russell. Father Russell opened this college with less than a dozen students. And by the time it reached its zenith, St. Paul's College owned more than 1,000 acres of land and housed more than 1,000 African children. But unfortunately, last summer, June of 2013, the board of directors of this college graduated the last class of students from St. Paul's College. I'm hoping that you will help me keep this college in the hands of the African-American community. I have a plan for this campus. I want to turn this campus into the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. There's a war in this country against black boys. I don't have to tell you, only one out of every four African-American boys will graduate from high school. I don't have to tell you that two out of every four African-American boys at some point in his life will be under the supervision of America's criminal justice system. I don't have to tell you that there's a school to prison pipeline that runs out the back door of the school into the front door of the prison. I wanna stop that. And I want you to help Dr. Umar Johnson stop that by donating to my fundraiser, by helping me and our ancestors raise the money necessary to acquire St. Paul's campus. We need this 135 acres for our children. We have the dormitories, we have the gymnasium, we have the lecture halls, we have the cafeteria, we have a beautiful student center. I want this school to be a blueprint, a role model to every other independent African school in the world to show them that African children are not the intellectual inferiors of European Americans, to show them that our children want to learn as much as anyone else. I'm tired of the phone calls from our mothers and fathers crying about what's being done to their children. I'm tired of special education when it's not necessary. I'm tired of ADHD diagnoses and conduct disorder diagnoses and oppositional defiance diagnoses and learning disability diagnoses and emotional disturbance diagnoses. I'm tired and I want you to be tired with me of our children being forced to exist in a system that was not designed to educate them in the first place. I want to give them a heaven on earth. I want to give them a home away from home. And I want St. Paul's College to be that place. Imagine a school where children don't have to be suspended. Imagine a school where your child never gets expelled. Imagine a school where your child never gets misdiagnosed and put in special education. Imagine a school where you don't have to worry about the teachers trying to force you to put your son or daughter on dangerous psychiatric medication. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, community stakeholders of the African race, I implore you, I beg you, I summon you and I petition you to donate to this cause, donate to this fundraiser. Let us show the world that we care enough about our children and enough about our history and enough about our ancestors to keep St. Paul's College in the hands of the African-American community and in the hands of Dr. Umar Johnson and in the interests of African children and under the skies of Almighty God and our ancestors. Help me keep this college alive and keep the dream 
and keep the dream of its founder, James Solomon Russell, alive forever.